Hey guys, how awesome would life be if you could use your phone to SSH into your Mac, Raspberry Pi, or Linux machine? Here's the thing, you can. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through this entire process. And so you'll actually be able to SSH on your phone from your local network or publicly from anywhere. But before we get our phone ready, we need to make sure that SSH is enabled on our hosts. So if you're using a Mac, you can go to system settings, general, and then open the sharing setting. But if you're having any trouble finding this, just search for sharing and it should pop right up. We need to enable the remote login checkbox. After that, click the information icon and then turn on allow full disk access. This will give you the real SSH experience. And for people that are trying to SSH into their Raspberry Pis, all you have to do is run sudo raspy-config from the terminal. After that, go to interface options and then turn on SSH server. And now you should be all set to use SSH on your Android. Step number one, let's install an SSH client from the app store on your phone. My personal favorite is Juice SSH, and I've been using this for many years without any issues. So once you've installed Juice SSH, let's go ahead and start the app. And before we do anything, we do need to add credentials for our SSH user. You can do this by going to Manage Connections and then swipe to the left. We can add our SSH login information by adding an identity here. Click the plus icon and you can start by assigning a nickname for this one. But if you're not going to have more than one SSH connection, you can totally skip this. Next, you'll need to add a username and password for the SSH server that you're trying to connect to. So based on what you're using to log into that server, that's what you're going to use here. And once you're done adding this information, click on the check mark sign to save the user. And now you should see it showing up as an identity. Great. Now we can add the computer or server that we're trying to SSH into. Just swipe right and you'll end up in connections. Let's tap the plus icon on the bottom right and then we'll start filling out these details. Again, nickname is only going to be important if you'll have more than one connection set up at a time. What I typically do is label each one of these based on whether it's in my home network or outside. And then after that, you can enter the IP address or host name of your SSH server. But just about everything else can stay as it is. Just make sure that the identity that you have selected is the right user. Let's tap the check mark sign again to save the connection. And now we're ready to connect. Just tap the connection that you added. And the first time that you do this, you're going to see a host verification prompt. Tap accept and you'll never see it again, thankfully. Now just let it process and then get you connected to the SSH server. And there you go. We are successfully connected. And you can start typing commands to that server just as you normally would if you were using that machine. When you're done typing commands and you need to kill the connection, just type in exit and you'll land back to connections. Okay, so we've now easily connected using SSH on our Android phone from the home network. But what if you wanted to SSH from anywhere outside your home? No big deal because that's what we're gonna cover next. First, we need to connect to our router's configuration. To do that, you can either look at the back of your modem or router. But if that's not available, just stay in your seat because we can find out using a single command. For PC users, you can run ipconfig using the command prompt. The gateway address is what we need. And for those on a Mac, you can use the terminal to run netstat-rn. The gateway that starts with a 192 address should be what you need. So if we navigate to this address on any browser, you'll land on your router config. And depending on what router you have, you'll need to get to a page that lets you modify firewall settings. In my case, I had to go to firewall nat slash gaming. But once you're there, you need to open up port 22 
and point it to your SSH server. For most modern routers, you can simply add an entry for SSH server and just find the device. Just make sure that you save it to give your router a handshake confirmation. After that, we need to find your public IP address. The quickest option is to navigate to whatismyipaddress.com and you might get two different addresses, but what we need is the IPv4 address. And now we can use Juice SSH on our Android to add the public connection. Let's label this one public so we can tell the difference between our home network connection and the public one. For the IP address, it's the one that we got from the internet. Finally, let's save it and then tap it to connect. Generally, one thing you do want to keep in mind is that it does take a few seconds longer to connect outside of your home network. But if all goes well, you can now SSH from anywhere in the world using your phone. You can run commands on those servers with just a few taps. And by the way, if being able to SSH is all you needed, the free version of Juice SSH is perfect for you. But I've been using the pro version of this app for many years and it comes with a lot of cool features. And so I'll be showing you each one of these in a future video. Thanks for watching. And for more on SSH servers or Android, please consider subscribing to this channel.